Months in the spotlight over the conditions of their buildings, we are finally getting a look inside two DeKalb County schools. Christy Diaz got a tour and she sat down with the new superintendent to talk about what still needs to be done. It's a story you'll only see on 11 Alive. We started at Druid Hills High as Principal Mark Joyner walked us through the school addressing concerns highlighted in the student video that went viral in the spring, like exposed wires in this classroom. These electrical poles are now, the outlets are now secure in those, in those poles, so they are now safe. He also addressed the missing ceiling tiles and crumbling walls. In the video, the student kind of highlighted some damage here on the ceiling. There was a hole here in the ceiling, so that this, this entire ceiling has been redone. And the sewage in the lunch area problem, which turned out to be because of a tree root growing in the pipe. As a result, they removed the tree, they removed all they removed all the piping um, that takes the sewage away from the school, which was an older piping, and they replaced it with PVC. All of these repairs expedited after the Department of Education gave the district a corrective action plan. But the district's own reports show the conditions at Druid Hills didn't even rank in the top 50 of worst facility conditions across the district. 68 other schools had facility condition assessment scores worse than Druid Hills. A lot of people felt that because Druid Hills received a lot of attention that all of our efforts were going to go towards Druid Hills. And I've been adamant that that is not the case. Like at Towers High School, where they got a new LED sign, a repaved parking lot, an upgraded weight room and football field, and a new coat of paint inside. These stripes add a uniqueness to our building, so that was one of the upgrades. Throughout the summer, how do you prioritize which projects come first? Mm, safety and security of students. We have 130 some odd buildings, so we had work done in every building over the summer. Elementary, middle and, Elementary high. middle and high. When Superintendent Dr. Vasan Tinsley took over in April, she created a facilities task force. It meets every week to keep up with what repairs have been made and what still needs to be done. And that's a way to help us to remain accountable, but also it gives me a nice gauge to let me know the work that's actually being done. But she admits there is still a lot of work to do. 50 out of the 81 elementary schools in the district have scores of poor or very poor. Is there anything you want to say to families who may be in some of the schools that had the worst FCA scores? Yeah. Just know that we are working. We are determined to get our buildings in better shape. In DeKalb County, Christy Diaz, 11 Alive News.